it's Connie. I know that I can't be the only one who struggles in the morning. Or maybe you have no trouble waking up. Sometimes your days just feel a little bit off. Feel a little discombobulated. Let's stop leaving it to chance, shall we? So today, I'm giving you three tips on starting your morning off right. preface this by saying that this is my biggest struggle always has been as a little kid it was time to get up for school in the morning i was the five more minutes five more minutes please five more minutes to this day the preparation for your morning routine starts the night before i have a video on getting better rest so you'll actually want to start your productive day i'll go ahead and throw that link up wherever it goes <laughs> In fact, go ahead and hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on any tips on making your life a little easier. Okay, let's jump in. First tip, don't pick up your phone right away. Babe. <laughs> I know it sounds simple, think about it. What's the first thing you do in the morning? Brush your teeth? Okay, no, you pick up your phone. First thing in the morning, you're letting in outside influences before you even had a chance to wake up. It's the news, social media, your email. That is not the way to start your day. So. Just take a beat. Give yourself 30 minutes before you pick up your phone. Numero dos. Take however much time you have to yourself. If you live in a super busy home, you probably don't have an hour every morning to dedicate to yoga and meditation. You might have five minutes. Take those five minutes or 10 minutes or 30 or an hour and do something that is gonna serve you. Journal, sit outside, meditate, read, make yourself breakfast, water your plants. Do something that is gonna fill your cup First. Prioritize some time for you so you can have the energy to give to everybody else. And the last and final tip number three. Do the hardest thing first. The thing that you're dreading, the thing that is gonna stay on your mind all day long, just get it out of the way. First of all, once you get the hardest thing done, you're cruising for the rest of the day. Two, it also means that no matter what happens, you've accomplished something and that feels good. I think so at least. Okay, real quick, let's recap it. What are three things that you can start doing tomorrow to have a productive day? One, don't pick up your phone right away. Two, take some time for you. And number three, do the hardest thing first. That's it. Those are three things that you can start doing tomorrow and just see how your day goes. As always, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe.